your daily three minutes devotional from the Jamaican New Testament. This is bread and water. If you love Jamaican Patwa and you love the Word of God, this is the place to be every day. We read from Revelation chapter 19, verse 7 to 9. Make the waller we jump up and down with joy in our heart. Make we give him enough respect and honor. Cause the time come now for the baby sheep get married. And the woman we him for married to, ready and a wait pan him. God give her clothes for wear. We make out a pretty linen, we bright and clean. The pretty clean linen are the right sitting them where God people them do. Father God, Papa, if fill we up with the bread of life and the living water. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. We continue our study of this dinner drama from the parable of the wedding feast found in Matthew chapter 22, verse 1 to 14. In the parable, the king who was throwing a wedding party for his son, invited some guests he thought worthy of being a part of the celebration. The king's action is seen as a representation of God who summoned the nation of Israel to his kingdom. In the parable, the guests who were initially invited did not attend the wedding, not because they couldn't, but because they wouldn't. In like manner, most of Israel rejected the Messiah. The parable goes on to say that some of the invitees proceeded to beat up the servant them proper proper and kill them dead. Similarly, God's servants and prophets have been mistreated and killed throughout the ages simply for bringing the good news of the feast that God has prepared for those who will accept him as savior. Despite all the drama that unfolded, the king said, well, food done cook already and everything Chris and curry. So, wedding a fi keep. I think the king did have a Jamaican advisor who would tell him say, before good food waste, make belly boss. So, the king sent out an invitation to everybody and anybody who would come, poor and wealthy, good, bad, and indifferent, whosoever would respond. They need not be mighty, noble, or recognized in society. In the same manner, God is inviting all to share in his kingdom. He is calling everyone to put on wedding garments of righteousness, which he will furnish. In the parable, the guest who attended the wedding inappropriately adorned was appropriately condemned by the king. This is not to escape our attention. If you have been called, do not rebel against righteousness. It is God's covering for us. Be among the chosen. Blessings until we meet again tomorrow to continue this study.